Hello friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can achieve this. So yeah, this is what we are going to talk about today. By the way, my name is Nikon, I'm an actor, director, filmmaker and on this channel I share with you uh, tips and tricks on how I am more consistent, more efficient and I am uh, actually making videos here on YouTube. So if you want to learn, don't forget subscribing and let's get straight into it. What are we going to do today is to use uh, a, a simple technique on overlaying one clip on top of the other is the same clip and also using masking. We'll use this clip over here and, um, and so this section here that you're seeing now, I made it just for the sake of showing you um, before and after, but actually uh, the original clip, uh, the final original clip is this one over here. Let me copy it here and um, put it here so you can see it. So this is the clip, this is the video I shot and this is how it looks like. And, um, and again, let me copy this clip over here. And this is the clip, um, this is the, the original clip um, straight from the camera uh, with with color correction, by the way, I added a little, a little bit of color correction here. And if you see, this is the clip straight from the camera. And uh, as you can see, I've added a few, um, if you uh, added the sharpening, I've added a few effects, uh, a little bit of saturation. So you see there's, there's a big difference there, uh, but still it doesn't look as rich and as, um, contrasty as I wanted as this one for instance okay let's go straight into the tutorial and let me show you how I achieved exactly that so let me show you how I did this so this is our clip this is our clip um, with a lot of colors as you can see the, there are a lot of colors here it's a decent clip but obviously is not like this. So I wanted those um, Ukrainian flag, the colors of the flag I wanted to, to pop out. You see I've got the blue at the, at the, at the top and the yellow at the bottom. <clears throat> so what I did, so for the beginning what you have to do in order to achieve this is very very simple and in one two minutes you can be done with it. So press option on your keyboard Keep pressing option on the keyboard and with the mouse just drag this clip at the top just like this and make sure they are on top of each other and when you play them um, they have to be the same you can actually if you want mute one of the audios because you don't need two audios unless you want to have a, a, a very loud uh, sound but there's no need for that so and when you disable one clip here or the other one you can see nothing is changing when I disable the clips here on my timeline you'll see if I disable the first one you see the other one is playing and if I disable the second one this one is staying there but anyway um, in Final Cut Pro um, the top clip is always a priority so the top clips will always play first and will actually play the, the if you put a, a clip on top of the other uh, the the clip that is underneath is not gonna play because the priority is on the top one that's why we need to mask that's why i've achieved this um this effect over here because i masked and then I used a compound clip and if you want to learn more about compound clips I've got a video on this genius uh, tips uh, actually genius thing that the, 
uh, the compound clips I totally recommend you using to compound clips and let me show you if I open this clip over here this is my compound clip uh, uh, composed by um, by two clips and what I did actually let me show back and show you uh, so let's click here we go back um, uh, let me show you at the beginning what I did so um, in order to, to, to do masking go to uh, your effects here um, and find find masking write down mask and what we need we need the draw mask and get the draw mask and put it on top of one of your clips as I said let it be the the top clip okay um, and here let me just make it smaller for you and here you see when you're putting a draw um, draw mask on top of your clip um, you are presented with this pen where you have to uh, show where your masking is going to be starting so let's do the masking i want to mask my subject over here and you're going to see what i'm talking about you can take more time you can be more accurate but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be very fast so now what we're trying to do we're trying to mask um myself here in order to increase the saturation on the other clip so I don't want this to be affected okay and then you have to connect the last dots so this is our mask so whatever I do to this clip then is not going to affect um, the my mask so you can actually move it like this so what we've got here let, let me switch off the, the the other clip which is uh, underneath so you see what's gonna happen you see this is our mask this is our mask and whatever I do to to this clip it is gonna affect only the mask or it's not going to affect the mask so now on the on the clip that is um, at the bottom I can go here and I actually I can um, do whatever I want I can change the colors I can do everything because uh, the clip is on the, the clip that is on top that uh, the, the, the mask is not gonna change or is not gonna affect the colors okay so let me go to the clip underneath and bump the saturation let's for now disable the the clip with the mask so we can see what we're doing uh, I think we need to do the exposure make it a little bit darker and this is it Th that's basically done and you see the colors here they look they look horrible that's why we need a mask and that's why when I will put my uh, top clip on you'll see what's gonna happen okay you see now we are doing much better now the clip at the top it's showing my myself here but everything that's around me it's masks this is not showing anything so there is still a trick to do don't worry it's not gonna be looking like this um, okay let me go and disable this clip uh, press V to disable the clips on your keyboard V disable or enable the clip so I still think I can go a little bit more with the colors and saturation I guess saturation is okay the colors are fine maybe just a little bit of exposure I can play just a bit with the exposure put a little bit more down a bit more highlights in there well, not really maybe the maybe the mid-tones yeah make make the mid-tones a little bit lighter okay and the shadows yeah let's keep the shadows like that um all right so now let me disable this one here and what we need to do now we need to adjust the mask it's very easy to do as i said 
don't find the draw mask here normally okay here we are uh, composite so normally what I do I use the feather inwards use the feather inwards and uh, here you can change things like that use it like this you see you can you can do what you want with the fall off and feather um, if I do the invert mask it's happening the other way around but we don't need that so we'll put the invert mask back on so it's pretty good but make sure that your subject is not moving much because if your subject is moving then um, this 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 effect and this way is not going to work so this is mainly for talking heads as you as you can see it's working fine and if i enable the other clip then here we are and it, it looks it looks incredible look you can obviously at any point you can move this move this points however you want but but it looks decent it looks good and you can use this trick anytime you want let me make it bigger for you as you can see look at that that's really 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 good and i've probably spent about two minutes to achieve this but look at the quality yeah okay you know it's subjective some people might say oh look you know what's too much colors too dark um i don't know but for me it's such a simple way and a simple trick to um to achieve this and i'm very happy with the result and maybe i can adjust a few more things but for me it looks great so let me show you before and after so if i disable this clip all right so what i'm gonna do okay right so i need to show you before and after but to show you before and after i will have to get another clip like get this clip from here okay so this is before this how it was before and this is after all right all right before after before after let me make it bigger this is how it is now ah it's actually i think it's actually even better than my previous one well okay my previous one is a bit darker but this one is much better i think it's a bit more bluish on on the on the yeah as it, it's because the i i i bumped up a bit the the, the mid the mid tones yeah well i mean either way it looks great um well they both look nice so this is the one we did together and this is the one I did before but i think it's a matter of preferences but yeah this is such a simple trick and you see the difference which one do you prefer do you prefer this clip here or do you prefer the one that we did with the masking in two minutes all right friends i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this where i um can uh, yeah, teach you i can show you how i create videos professionally and uh, how i'm making a career doing um, uh, filmmaking uh, film production acting and uh, youtube okay uh, take care of yourself and uh, i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye